ओके स्टूडेंट सो नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स ऑफ पेपर टू विच विल गिव यू विच विल गिव यू सो मेनी मार्क्स इन द एग्जाम ओके सो दिस चैप्टर इज कास्ट इन इंडिया वी विल सी हियर द कास्ट सिस्टम ओके यू नो कास्ट हैज नॉट बीन अ स्टैटिक स्टैटिक यू नो thing in india it has changed its, its basic character over time caste is an institution it is a form of practice it is a form of identity so caste is adjusting and readjusting itself over period of time okay you will see that in india caste defines marriage you very well know this a brahman boy his family will go to any extent to find the girl uh, to marry from a brahman family and so does a you know chhatri family or obc they all want to marry in their own caste caste defines fraternity means your friend circle your social circle will also be according to your caste caste define rituals brahmins they are so much serious uh, serious about the rituals about the purity okay whereas the untouchables or lower caste they don't have time for rituals because they are living for their sustenance okay and caste defines identity you will go anywhere you are filling any government form you are you want any government policy you will see that a section of caste is there how you define yourself you will uh, you know general obc sc st so caste defines identity what is your name that is that does not matter but if you want any government policy or you 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 are going for uh, you are filling any government form you want any facilities okay so you have to show your identity your caste identity hence we cannot locate ourselves without caste in indian society the caste is so dominant okay and caste is present in society before we were you know, before we were here and caste will be present in society after after all of us okay so we are part of the caste system and hence it is a social fact because we cannot define it you know caste defines us caste was present when we were not caste will be present when we will not be present okay so our personal reaction our personal perception does not change the presence of caste you know ambedkar gandhi mahatma buddh they all try try to change this they criticize this the caste system but the caste system took new forms okay and they even those great personalities were not able to eliminate the caste system from society okay so caste is a social fact caste is essence of life of people in india okay so you know as i have told you that caste in india it defines marriage fraternity your social circle rituals that you follow your identity is defined by caste so when Uh, we are no, now talking about the britishers when britishers came here they were not bothered about the positive or negative effect of caste system but their main focus was origin of caste rather than the structure of caste they were more interested in uh, you know to know what is the origin of the caste system okay but origin of caste system comes from text the scriptures okay so and every word of text can
कैन नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड ट्रू ओके सो द ब्रिटिशर्स गेव सम थ्योरी अबाउट द ओरिजिन ऑफ कास्ट द फर्स्ट वॉज रेस थ्योरी गिवेन बाई सर हर्बर्ट रिचले नेम इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट सो वॉट रेस थ्योरी सेज इट सेज दैट कास्ट केम विद आर्यस इन इंडिया बिकॉज आर्यस हैव डिस्टिंगटिव यू नो रेसियल फीचर दे वर फेयर दे वर टॉल दे शार्प नोज ओके सो कास्ट केम विथ आर्यस इन इंडिया एंड दे डिफ्यूज दे डिफ्यूज कास्ट सिस्टम इन इंडिया बट वेन लोकल पीपल वॉच देयर कास्ट सिस्टम देयर डिविजन ऑफ लेबर एंड सो वेन दे केम इन टू इंडिया दे अवार took place and they defeated the local people in india and made them slaves the aryans defeated local people in india in war and made the local people their slaves and subsequently those local peoples become untouchables hence caste is a product of racial feature okay later you know aryans had sexual relationship with non aryans and then mixed race came and different new groups different new caste came into picture now caste was not decided on basis of color you know the aryans were fair tall and the local people were you know darker and smaller in height so now after this diffusion uh, after the uh, coming of mixed race now caste system was not decided on basis of color but who who are the sons of aryans okay so this was the race theory another another theory was varna theory varna theory it says that hindus are divided into four categories not aryans hindus are divided into four categories hence caste is product of hinduism you know uh, in rig veda there is mention of four varna four varna coming from different part of supreme body hmm? like the head of god hmm? the supreme body god from his head the brahmins came okay and from their uh, from his you know feet the untouchable skin okay so in in rig veda you will find the mention of how the four varnas are coming from different body part of supreme body from god okay so caste is tracing its origin from varna system another theory is occupation theory which says that different caste got their name from the occupation they were pursuing okay agriculture or pottery or blacksmith or barber so they all got their name from their occupation okay ghure says ghure says that race created caste and occupation stabilized the caste race created caste and occupation stabilized the caste system okay so these are the some theories given by britishers okay now g s ghure g s ghure he contradicted the colonial approach on caste he said that origin of caste is not important but how caste is different from other system how it is manifesting regional and historical variations that is more important thing because we don't have scientific evidence about the origin of caste okay we don't have scientific uh, evidence on origin of caste that's why the origin of caste is not important but how it has been diffused into the society how it is manifesting regional and historical variation how the caste system is different from other systems that is more important thing okay so now we will study the views of G S Khure on caste system. 
ओके सो नेक्स्ट सेटिंग इज जी एस घुरे ऑन कास्ट जी एस घुरे सेज दैट कास्ट इज लोकल स्पेसिफिक फिनोमिना लोकल स्पेसिफिक फिनोमिना हाउ यू विल सी दैट अ भूमिहार ही मे बी अ ब्राह्मण इन सम पार्ट ऑफ कंट्री अ भूमिहार मे बी अ राजपूत इन सम पार्ट ऑफ कंट्री एंड अ भूमिहार मे बी अ यू नो वैस इन सम पार्ट ऑफ कंट्री यू विल फाइंड द शर्मा शर्मा कास्ट दे आर ब्राह्मीण्स इन सम पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री एंड यू विल फाइंड शर्माज आर द यू नो दे आर बार्बर इन सम पार्ट ऑफ कंट्री नाई शर्मा दे आर बार्बर इन सम पार्ट ऑफ कंट्री सो कास्ट इज लोकल स्पेसिफिक फिनोमिना ओके अक्रॉस द इंडिया कास्ट इज प्रेजेंट बट नॉमन क्लेचर इज डिफरेंट एट डिफरेंट प्लेसेस ओके सो कास्ट इज अ लोकल स्पेसिफिक फिनोमिना ही फर्दर से मोस्ट ऑफ कास्ट गेटिंग देयर नेम फ्रॉम देयर ऑक्यूपेशन ओके सो ऑक्यूपेशन इज द सोर्स ऑफ कास्ट आइडेंटिटी ओके लाइक दोज हु आर परसुइंग एजुकेशन दे आर ब्राह्मण ओके दोज दोज हु आर डूइंग द वर्क ऑफ नाई बार बार दे आर शर्मा इन सम पार्ट ऑफ कंट्री ओके दोज हु आर परसुइंग द दोज हु आर वॉशर मैन दे आर कॉल्ड एज धोबी ओके सो द ऑक्यूपेशन इज सोर्स ऑफ कास्ट आइडेंटिटी सो कास्ट इज गेटिंग देयर नेम फ्रॉम मोस्ट ऑफ कास्ट गेटिंग देयर नेम्स फ्रॉम द ऑक्यूपेशन इस इज दैट देयर इज सम कनेक्टिविटी बिटवीन रेस एंड कास्ट इफ यू लुक नॉर्थ इंडिया इफ यू लुक नॉर्थ इंडिया इन टर्म्स ऑफ फिजिकल अपेरेंस ब्राह्मीण्स एंड नॉन ब्राह्मीण्स can be clearly separated okay you will see brahmins they are fair they have sharp nose okay but when you see non brahmins they are darker this the gs gure is saying this okay gs gure is saying that if you look north india in terms of physical appearance you can clearly separate the brahmins and non brahmins okay so there is some connectivity between race and caste he argues that there is confusion in mind of scholars about what is caste hmm about the caste system about his you know identity hmm? what is the caste system there is confusion in mind of scholars so features of caste features of caste must be clearly spell out okay regional variation diffusion caste based privilege and exploitation he is talking about these things okay so let let us see what he is talking about the six fundamental features of caste system because uh, to avoid the confusion about caste he is saying that features of caste must be clearly spelled out okay so he is giving six fundamental features of caste system the first one is segmental division of society segmental division of society second is hierarchy hierarchy third is restriction on food drink restriction on food and drink fourth is religious and civil disabilities and privileges religious and civil disabilities and privileges fifth is endogamy sixth is fifth is endogamy sixth is restricted choice of occupation restricted choice of occupation so he is giving six fundamental features of caste system okay let us see it one by one so first one is what is segmental division of society segmental division of society he is saying that brahmin have brahminical values okay 
untouchables have their own values kshatriyas have their own values so brahmins have brahmins value other caste have their own well defined body of values every caste is having well defined body of values what are the brahminical values they are ritual hmm, taking bath in morning hmm, satvik food hmm, and taking food only after all the rituals have been performed okay upholding the values they <coughs> define their occupation okay their relations their roles so the values are well defined for every caste and upholding these values they define their occupation their relationships and their roles how they uh, how they will marry that will be defined by their body of values what what the occupation they are choosing uh, that will be defined by their body of values okay what is the role they are playing in society okay that is also defined by their body of values so these values are taught by various institution starting from family because the first teaching you get first socialization you get from your family so these values are taught by various institution hmm? that is started from family in your childhood and members of caste your surrounding okay and by caste council jati sabha okay every caste has ja, uh, you know caste council so you will be taught these values by various institution in the society okay members of caste the uh, one caste they they used to meet each other regularly during rituals marriages festivals okay so that these teachings or these values can be you know passed on to the next generation and they can be discussed and they can adhere to these values okay like if uh, one uh, some brahmin boy is not taking bath in the morning so the society will talk about it they will say that he is not upholding the values he will be criticized and he will be forced to uphold the caste values okay so the people they meet each other regularly okay during rituals marriages festivals they discuss about caste norms what is happening in their caste group who are violating caste norms and caste council jati sabha the caste council was very powerful organization with three kind of roles caste council has three kind of roles executive okay it will enforce the caste rules second one is legislative role it will make the caste rules and and last one is judicial role okay judicial role if someone is not upholding the caste rules then he will be penalized or he will be met with punishment so the caste council has is having uh, it was having the executive legislative and judicial power so it was very powerful organization uh, therefore every caste was you know constituting mini society jats have their own world marathas have their own world okay brahmins have their own world rajputs have their own world because they have constituted a mini society okay and that mini society is driven by of course their own rules regulation their own values hence british could easily identify these differences and they took advantage of this caste divide to rule india okay because every caste was divided on basis of uh, some rules and regulation values so britishers were you know they were they could identify it very easily and they took advantage of this caste you know divide to rule over india okay